Yes, this is a medium format SLR camera. It's developed by Pentax, obviously. And I want to do a kind of walkthrough slash opinion video on it because uh, I've had opinions about it lately and wanted to share them. So I got this camera at the end of last year. Like I bought it, I think like mid to late December. And then I was trying to figure out like what lens I wanted to get with it. So I ended up getting this, um, this lens, which is the 55 3.5. And I have to say, this is probably my favorite part of this camera is this lens. It's a pretty wide angle lens and it's 3.5, which is, decently fast I think uh, I, I have no complaints with the lens this is fantastic it does weigh uh, roughly the same as a, a white dwarf or a the camera itself is also quite massive as I'm sure you can tell the prism here is just the normal prism it's not the metered prism nothing fancy like that so I do have to use an external light meter which is totally fine I don't mind that at all and it's a 6.7, so if you don't know what that means, so you have uh, 6.45, and that's, you get 16 images, 6x6, six six, which is square format, you get 12, 6x9, six which is 8, and then there's 6x7, six which is like 10. There's also 6x8, um, and I'm missing one, but there's another one too, I think. Anyway, so those are like the different formats. Now I'm getting myself confused. Anyway, so the six by seven, I think is, is these two, something like that. And basically it's just a little bit wider than a six by six. The qualms I have with it, my issue so far is the focus screen. Uh, this does have a detachable prism, which is awesome. If you want to get into that. But this focus screen is so dark sometimes. And I was trying to take a photo of my friend the other night um, and could not see. And granted, part of that is because this is a wider angle lens, so it's going to be a little bit harder to focus. But still, like, it is just so hard to see sometimes with this thing, which is very problematic in lower light settings. So kind of dealing with that has been a challenge. And then also, because it is a 6x7, you're limited immediately to 10 shots per roll. And with film, as expensive as it is now, eh, like you just have to plan on bringing more film. So that's kind of an issue that I was having with this. And then also, it's very hard to keep this low profile when it's like 4,000 pounds. And it's so large that you can actually, this was actually proven too. One of the very first uh, shuttle launches into space, they like, got onto the International Space Station, they looked down and they saw somebody with a 6.7 taking a photo. I'm like, wow, that's a 6.7, that you can see it from space. Like, that is 100% true, so don't worry about looking it up because it's real. Overall, I have a little, some minor issues with it, but it's a good camera, all told. I do have film in here now, so I can't do like a proper walkthrough, so to speak. But we want to point out a few things. One is that here we have the 10 and the 21. What's interesting is if you do shoot 220 film like I do quite a bit, I've not shot 220 film through this, but I might soon. Anyway, if you shoot 220 film, instead of just getting 20 shots, you actually get 21 by some magic alchemy. Uh, you just need to adjust that there, so that way the frame counter is acting accordingly. And I think there's also a pressure plate on the back that you can just adjust around. Also on the top here, you have your range of shutter speeds. 
The mirror on this is pretty much the loudest thing in the world. They have these like a, uh, they have these like field cannons that they use in the military to like shell distances or like shell areas great distances away. And I think if you shot this off when the cannon was being fired, you might not be able to hear the cannon because this would be so loud. The wide range of shutter speeds from bulb, one second, all this stuff. I tried shooting uh, this with flash and it did not work. So maybe that was the flash sync port issue or something else was going amiss. But there's that. It does take a six volt battery, which is loaded in the bottom here. And it won't work without a battery in there. So that's something to keep in mind. The back on this one actually did break open. It has this, I don't like these hinges at all. I don't trust them, especially because I was walking, literally just walking around and one of the screws just fell off and the back door opened up and blasted a roll of film that I was trying to shoot. So that was awesome. And then, yeah, the, the focus screen just kind of sucks on it, to be completely honest with you. But other than that, it's a pretty decent camera. It doesn't really work for me all of the time. But it's a pretty highly sought out camera. So I don't want to like just get rid of it immediately because oh, I don't really like it that much. But I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this just yet. I do plan on using it for at least a few months time, but I also might end up just getting rid of it because I have so many cameras. I don't really need the 6.7 necessarily. It's a good camera. It just does take up a lot of room. I can't imagine ever traveling with this, especially when I have the C330, which I think just travels infinitely better. I was never like super pumped about the 6.7. It was kind of one of those that like you see a lot of the photographers on YouTube get them. I'm just kind of like, eh. It did, like it didn't do much for me. I thought it was cool, but it wasn't like, oh my god, I need to have one. But when I found one for a deal, I was like, oh yeah, I should probably snag this because it's pretty cheap. It looks like it's in good condition, and it is. It's in great condition. I've had no issues with it outside of the flash issue, which again could be a me thing. I'm not entirely sure. It might not work for you, just as it doesn't work from a buddy gauge, just as it kind of doesn't really work for me. And then also something that you really need to be concerned about is on these slower speeds, typically how my mind works, I always think like, oh, I can probably handle 60. Anything below that, my caffeine jitters just kind of, uh. With this though, and the mirror that is roughly the size of a dinner plate slapping up and down in the body of the camera, that is going to affect the camera movement. So you really need to make sure that you are keeping that in mind and are setting if you're going to be doing any of these slower speeds, which by all means I think you should try because I think low light photography is pretty cool, uh, definitely get a tripod and also get something that's sturdy because as you can see the offset here is like right on the, the lens mount as opposed to on the body of the camera. And it's like that because this lens, like I said, is roughly the weight of a dying star. So yeah, that is the 6.7. I've had this for a while and I just have not made a video about it. I don't really remember why. I think I wanted to like spend my time and make a breakdown video of it and I kind of didn't do that. So this is just more of an opinion on the 6.7 itself. It's just massive and it might not really work for you and as it, nah, it might not really work for me if I'm being completely honest. So we will see what else we do with it. I do plan on, I don't know, messing around with it some more but I'm curious do you have a six seven and if you do what do you think of it because I love getting people's opinions on these things and I have a buddy of mine who I want to make shoot a roll through this and then see what he thinks about it until then until future videos I appreciate you watching as always thank you again for the 800 subscribers super awesome very thankful for that and I hope to continue producing such fine content as you see here and uh, keep cleaning off my desk so you can still see the blue it's baby steps you know what I mean baby steps but yeah make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so uh, leave a comment if you've shot with a 6.7 before and or if you were ever interested in shooting with one. 
or if you just hate the camera and you think this video is dumb, I'd like to hear that as well. But thank you again, appreciate it as always, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.